All right, y'all. It's me, Fergie. Um, I was looking at a YouTube video the other day, and the chick was like, um, well, I don't want to call her a chick, because, I mean, I don't know, whatever. Um, Destiny Godly was like, why do, why do I have to introduce myself every time I come on camera? But it does make sense. It's for the new subscribers, but if they have just recently subscribed to you, then they should know who you are, right? But anyway, it's me. Fergie, Ashley, Rocky, Nikki, whatever you want to call me. So, um, I actually am pleased with my makeup look today. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, really clear. I need to really work on my lighting. Um, I am going to do that for you guys. But anyway, I have a lot of videos to push out. This is the first one that I wanted to talk about. It's just feminine hygiene. I know that, um... You know, my channel is all over the place, hair, and fucking what the fuck videos, and mostly just rant and some things incorporated um, into that. So, why not feminine hygiene? So, I recently got a box of Always Infinity. And so, the reason why I'm making this video is because these pads are the truth. Now, um... I'm all about uh, vaginal uh, health. Like, I took a women's health class when I was uh, attending the University of North Texas. And I learned so much about women's health that a lot of women didn't know. And so, since my mom worked at a beauty shop, I was always up there spitting knowledge to them. And they were like, wow, really? Wow, I shouldn't dish? You know, yada, yada, this and yada, yada, that. Well, there are a couple of things that I don't believe in any longer um i used to be an avid tampon wearer but i don't wear tampons anymore because i have a very very sensitive uh vajay jam. and so um whenever i wear tampons it's shortly after my cycle it has um passed i always get a, a bacteria infection and <clears throat> for all the guys who are watching you can go ahead and click off now i won't be upset but if you want to know about your girl's vaginal health then you should probably stay tuned um more than likely the guys that watch me are probably homosexual so um i don't know how this will pertain to you because i know i'm a little bit bitchy and um so i'm sure that's the kind of guys that i draw attention for but the straight ones you should stick around okay so a bacterial infection and a vet and a vaginal yeast infection are the um most common um ailments of the vagina for um you know vaginal health and so i get those well used to get those like all the time and i started eliminating certain things and i started adding certain things um and some of the things that i eliminated were tampons um and scented uh body wash any type of body wash actually um any antibacterial soap such as dial and um zest and um any irish spring any soap that's geared toward men because it's all about killing bacteria with them because they don't have any orifices um that need to be cleaned and or that the soap can get into and kind of cause irritation so anywho um i stopped using those things um i cannot use body wash whatsoever i cannot use i can only use oil of la dove and ivory soap which i hate ivory um because you can actually see it working like the bubbles grab the dirt and that shit's fucking disgusting to me but my favorite is oil of la um which my god sister turned me on to that it's so soft it's so pure it leaves my skin really soft and so um uh i stopped using tampons because even though i wasn't using scented tampons they were still invading my vagina and just causing a uncomfortable um environment for bacteria and things that I don't want to grow uh, to grow so I started wearing pads and before I started wearing pads I was just wearing regular always but these always infinity I'm telling you when you put them on they were in the and it ladies I don't want to get like too gutter but when you know when you cough when you sneeze it gushes out or whatever and by it you know I'm talking about blood okay so it's 
soon as it comes out, the pad automatically sucks it up and it locks it down. And when you press back on the top of it, you don't get, um, I guess, I don't know what to call it, but like a spill bag. I don't know. But it doesn't, it doesn't, um, once it's locked in, it doesn't come out. And that's what I really, really like about it. Like, I could go with the pad for a couple of hours and then um, go to the restroom and then I won't see anything on the top. But if I were to take it off, I would see all of what is trapped on the other underside. And so these are really great. Well, this particular box came with, um, I thought it was like the biggest box. And it is the biggest box. It comes with like 32 um, pads in it. But I thought it had like 60 something because the box is so huge. But I neglected to read this. So it says it's a bonus. Always radiant. And so always radiant is, um, it came out after the infinity. I guess it is for overnight protection. And so it, it came with three samples of this. This is I guess a longer pad that goes from the front to back. Because you know as you switch positions in your sleep you want to be protected all around and it does protect you um all around i also got this little bitty purse that came with it and i thought this was so cute because i'm one of the girls that really doesn't care um about carrying around pads and tampons when i was wearing tampons because i'm just not the embarrassed type but if you are the type of lady who is very discreet who is very um reserved then you will, would love this because to me it looks like it has pads in it that's just my opinion but my best friend was like no it doesn't it looks like a cute little purse okay whatever so um you can put your pads and your tampons and stuff like that in here and then when you go to the restroom you don't have to take your whole bag with you it's like when you go to the bathroom with your purse everybody knows you know what you're about to do which I don't care because I'll take my pad out and I'll walk to the bathroom with a pad in my hand because it's a part of life. Like everyone has a menstrual cycle. But I just thought that that was really cool that it came with a bonus and it was the regular price. So, um, the regular price of these pads for this particular box is like, um, $6.99 at, I mean $6.98 at Walmart. And so that's what I paid for this and I got this cute little, um, tote and, um, I got a chance to try the Radiant U, um, overnight protection pads. So, um, yeah, I also want to encourage you guys, um, just on a couple of little tips that I have found that help me, um, prevent from getting yeast infections that help me from, um, getting bacteria infections and, uh, the dreaded, um, urinary tract infection. After you have sex, make sure that you're not lazy. Make sure that you go to the restroom and that you pee. Um, depending on what type of sexual, um, encounter you had I know you can kind of be a little tender down there and so women don't like to pee because it burns because maybe the skin has been torn a little bit or whatever I know it sounds gross but I mean some of us like it rough okay let's just be honest so um you want to go pee because that's going to clear out any of the bacteria or any of the um, bodily fluids that have gone up their urethra. It's going to push them all down and it's going to clear that out. Um, and so that's going to keep you, um, keep your urinary tract healthy and prevent you from having that jump off the seat experience when you go pee. Because I, I have had a urinary tract infection and those things are not comfortable at all. They're very uncomfortable. And, um, yeah, so you want to make sure that anytime you get prescribed antibiotics, um, because for me, antibiotics kills, you know, all the good flora that I have um, down there. And so um, you want to let your uh, physician know that you will need um, a antifungal um, type of medicine, diflucan or whatever it is that you want to use. Um, uh, what is the fluconazole over the over the not over the counter actual prescription because antibiotics do cause yeast infections. Um, what else? Oh, pink berry has probiotics in it. And so probiotics um, promote the um, growth of the good 
bacteria and good floral that you need in uh, your vaginal uh, canal so you will want to visit them um at least every two weeks because that stuff really works it really does work um there are acidophilus pills and other um uh, probiotics that you can buy over the counter at walmart um refresh is a really good one and so um i just wanted to let you guys know about that because i care about your health as well um and vaginal health is very 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 important to me um so i hope that this wasn't a disturbing video i hope that you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and also visit me on facebook and twitter um i will have that information uh below in the bottom bar if you have any questions or any concerns or anything like that um definitely feel free to um, put it in the comments bar below thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you guys later